Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, we're back on the cell phone. It's a lot of drinks from the sky at the moment. Let's see what happens when we get to the launch site. Ah, uh, yeah. Petrus, Frankie, and Pardet. Pardet, come as gaan. As you can see, the tide is quite high. We arrived here at the tidal channel and the tide is still pushing in here at the tidal channel. What an amazing sight. A lot of brownish water today. Not greenish like the other days. So it means the Velozzi River is in flood. Hopefully the estuary mouth is still open so that all the mud water can drain out into the ocean. See you guys on the Southern Dune Beach. Walk. Still have to make a comprehensive video of the Southern Dune Walk. Um, maybe if it's not raining tomorrow, we'll consider doing that. Might be we do it on the way back. I don't know what the day is, uh, has installed for us. This is just crazy. Look at the beautiful ocean water washing into the estuary. This is crazy. Who thought that this time of the year, this is deep ink blue. It means that there's a lot of water in the channel. But this is crazy. Look what happened over there. I'm so excited. And this is moving to the westwards quite quickly. But look what happened over there. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. It went straight through that sandbank. Yeah, it's got now dangerous. It's pushing in a lot of sand at the moment. There's no energy to wash it out. So that's a dangerous situation there. But it went right through there. It went right through there. Look. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ocean water here. Up until the turn. Not going quite past the turn, but I think we we almost on the outgoing tide. Maybe it's going past the turn. Maybe it's going past the turn. But look over there. Look. Now, according to my understanding of the system, now on low tide, the tide is going to go straight out there, generating a lot of energy creating a lot of suction it's not good for marine water retention i know we want this this scenario here for marine water retention but right now we've got an opportunity to get rid of the mud and then philosophy river bringing more mud we've got that and on the launch site right over there we've got stella As far as the eye can see, there is just not dirty water on this incoming tide. Isaac, come here, come here, Isaac, come, pass on Frank, get on Frank, get on Frank, get on Frank, Frank, get on 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 
the dune and we're going to do again the, the same tomorrow okay, this is now getting scary that is now a finger growing out there there's a patch of sand over here and this is our tabletop dune and that is our stick over there and look how high it became towards that side it's now that this dune is now leapfrogging with itself to the south this is incredible so that is the distance we're going to take let's have a look one two three four five six seven eight nine it's nine meters all the way up until that fish hole over there. This dune is now getting high. This dune is now over three meters high. Look at this area between the vegetated dune and the tabletop dune, uh, how quickly it becomes more and more narrower. Yeah, they killed the estuary mouth. They've killed it. Par dit hulle die mond dood gemaakt, want hy hier was mond gewees. Is nou dood. This is this side. There's even crabs on the boardwalk. To conclude today's video, decided to come on a embark on an estuary cruise with Fanas. And that's my reminder that I have to be on the vessel. Water monitor lizard. Patrakadis. Well, yeah, like a one. There's a bigger one a little bit further. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, have a look amongst the reed, you'll see all those woven balls attached to the reed. And the nests are, especially the yellow weed are young. Purple, uh, you'll find a suitable site, like you see up to the left of us. Male weaver, he'll weave a nest for inspection by a female. The female inspects the nest, if she's not happy with the nest, she'll start tearing it apart. He'll proceed to demolish that entire nest, he'll find a new site for the new, uh, a nest for inspection by a new suitor. Takes the uh, male weaver two to three days to weave one of the nests you see up to the left of us. There'll be a few more sites where we can uh, have a look at the, uh, the weavers. Don't stop here, we're in a channel, we have some traffic coming here. to 40 hippo to a point. The hippos have territories as well, especially the dominant bull. Territory ranges on average two to three kilometers of the river section here for the lake system per point. And the purple heron we had there to the uh, right of the boat. I see a few wiretail and European swallow in between as well.
ya. <laughs> Stand out on average five minutes. There aren't really so many more that you need to cross deeper sections. If I go down to the bottom, walk or run along the bottom, they need to get air, they'll boost themselves up to the top, get a bit of two, go back down and continue that way. Once again, we've crossed a visible boundary, leaving the territory of the second point of Hippo behind. Female Hippo, she'll have a gestation period of eight months. When she's ready to give birth, she'll separate herself from the point, find a safe spot in the shallows, and she'll give birth to her young calf. Young calf can weigh at birth more than 50 kilograms. Young calf she'll rejoin the pot after a, a month or so. So she gives birth to a male calf, she'll keep the male calf away from the pot up to six months. Giving it around about 70% of the time the young male calf is attacked by either the dominant bull or one of the other males in the pot. If the young male calf survives the attack, it's uh, so welcome to join the pot. The body length average three and a half four meters. See the hippo have really big teeth.
Lovely day on board Funas. Another day in paradise.